Hi everyone, this is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Let me show you how you can make this beautiful Christmas ornament by doing some reverse decoupaging. All right, so I'm just taking a glass ornament I purchased from Michaels and I'm taking the top off because it's silver and I want this to look vintagey looking. So I'm just painting it in gold, liquid leaf in the color classic gold. So you just give it one coat and see how it just turns into a pretty gold color. Now I'm using decoupage queen paper. It's called Snow Babies and how cute it is. It's a little vintagey child throwing a snowball. So I would thought that would look cute in this glass ornament. All right, so just take your pencil and um, circle your glass ornament um, to get the correct size. And then you just take scissors to cut it out. Um, by doing that pencil, you would, you'll make some indents in your paper so you'll know exactly where to cut. Now I'm using Pink Couture Decoupage Medium. That's my favorite um, decoupage medium to use. And then I'm just going to give it a light coat on the back of my ornament. Now this is this is reverse decoupaging, guys. So we're gonna be putting the paper on backwards. Now just give it a tear around the edges, then your circle will lie flat to your ornament. There we go, put your paper on backwards. See, it's upside down. And this is called reverse decoupaging. All right, so now give it another coat of your decoupage medium and then your um, snow baby decoupage paper, you'll be able to see from the outside. There it is, isn't that so darn cute? Sorry guys about the ring lights. It's giving a glow a cast on the ornament. All right, so this is just a cute little ribbon that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's little teeny rosettes. I'm just putting around the edges. Um, it just gives, gives it a little finishing touch around the edges. I think it looks really cute around there. Um, you can use any any kind of ribbon you want. Um, this ribbon's a little thinner, so I think it um, fits the ornament a little better um, than um, fatter ribbon. There we go. Now I'm taking frosty snow because it's it's a snow baby, and I'm putting some inside the ornament. You can purchase this anywhere. I believe I got this in Walmart. Um, and then look, you put it inside your ornament, guys, and then it looks like there's snow in there because the snow baby is throwing a snowball. <laughs> Doesn't that look cute? Sorry again about the ring lights reflection in the um, ornament. All right, so now put back your top of your ornament just like so. There we go. And now we are going to be adding some diamond dust to the back. This is going to make the whole thing glitter and shine. All right, so just put another coat of your decoupage medium down just like so. And then you're going to take your diamond dust. I just put it in a cheese shaker. It's easier to apply for me, um, but it's diamond dust. You can get it in Michael's, Amazon, um, Hobby Lobby. All right, so there you got your diamond dust on. Shake off the excess. And now we're used to, I'm just taking some seam crinkle ribbon, wrapping it around my finger four times and making a cute little bow. Now you pinch it in the middle, wrap the end around, tie it with a little bit of glue and you got yourself a cute little bow now fluff out the edges just like so there we go and it makes a darling darling little bow for your ornament there we go and now we're just going to glue that to the front and then we're also going to make the ribbon sparkle and shine and a little bit of the snow inside take pixie spray guys it's a light tack spray and you can make any of your ribbons sparkle and shine by using pixie spray give it a spray on your ribbon and I put a little bit on the bottom just to make that snow that's inside look like it's glistening also and there you go gorgeous little ornament for your Christmas tree Merry Christmas everyone